I get thank you so dear to my heart because um, I did everything possible to bring this project to life. I had to sell all my belongings. I sold my what? land, sold my what? cars, sold my all my properties. Actually, wow. some of my properties, not all, you know, to achieve this. And mm -hmm. it's so dear to my heart. I mean, there's butterflies in my tummy because Aww. I made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, the, that, that feeling of making it happen, I really want you to go into it because sometimes people don't understand that feeling of you wanting to do something and then you finally have it in your hands. And you had a, your premiere, what? You had a lot of people show up, the outfits. So what was that moment like for you, knowing that this thing that you've invested, I think about 52 million, am I correct? Or was it more? No, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot like more than over, that. Over, over 200 million right now that I've spent on the film. Over 200 million, million that you have spent. So in terms of like, you know, funding for the film, was it just solely your funding or did you have to reach out to people for that? Yes, before now, I reached out to people to help, but wasn't really coming forward so I had to like okay sell what I had to wow. you know get it done and here I am today I'm feeling like a successful lady <laughs> because the whole industry you know came out to support me I was feeling blessed I was mm -hmm. feeling like I have a right <laughs>it was just all jokes anyway you know we just want to have fun mm -hmm. we want people to talk because um my sim and i you know decided to like oh we need to talk about this it needs to be in the faces of you know people mm -hmm. so i've been taking it upon myself to um to protect the image of a lot of people at the same time i've been doing it all alone all alone by myself, taking it upon myself to do it, and I wasn't getting help, you know, mm -hmm. that I feel I needed. So I said, okay, what can we do for people to talk about this film? And we said, okay, let's give it to Bob. Bob is always a controversial person. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give it to him. Then at the end of the day, people started talking about it, but some people are not happy, and they are trying to come against um, Femi Adebayo, and I'm like, Femi Adebayo is my boss. It wasn't even aware of so many things that was going on. I only called me. I mean, called him to like, oh, can you help me? You know, announce announce this so or it wasn't give this. His idea. It was not. It was not. It wasn't part of the judges. Ab absolutely, it wasn't part of anything. Oh, it's so sad because it's it been trending on Twitter. Yeah, it's been trending on Twitter. And people <laughs> slamming him. I'm disappointed. I'm this. They I'm, shouldn't, I'm like, please. They shouldn't. He's a very nice person. He's an amazing person. He's a boss I really, really love so dearly. Yeah. So you know, when I when I saw, I saw people saying things and I see people online, we are not going to watch the film. Blah blah blah. I'm begging you guys. Yes, please, it was all jokes, all jokes, and Femi Adebayo knows nothing about what happened at the premiere. But do you understand why people feel a little disrespected by Bobriski being announced the best dressed female? Do you understand why? Yes, I do. I do, but um, I wanted people to talk about the premiere, the movie, but at the same time, I wasn't seeing it from the angle of, you know, people are going to get upset that Bob is a, uh, a male you understand so but i don't even have what to say i don't really want to you know pound down on this i just want to say i'm sorry you know i love our culture i love our tradition i love women out there i am a woman mm -hmm. so i love everybody so it's all jokes coming from you know yeah. Bob and yeah. 